gamers are getting connected online through online services like Xbox Live or PlayStation Network. One of the big challenges for video game developers is how to get all these people to get connected. So there's one studio that has actually an interesting and novel way to get gamers to start playing with each other. Next week, Media Molecule, a British developer that's actually located in the place where Lewis Carroll was buried, is releasing a new game. It's called Little Big Planet. It's what's called a puzzle platform game, which means you move your character back and forth, left and right. It follows uh, a small obsidian-eyed ragdoll named Sackboy um, through his adventures through this uh, dream-like landscape. You kind of move from um, different place to different place. You're actually moving all over the world. And that's one of the interesting things about the game as well, that when you interact with these different real-world places, you get items that are related to you know, where, where you might be. Here we are in New York. The, the different items that you can collect are you know, different outfits and different costumes, and you can make these little things called stickers, which, can, which you can use to decorate the world. Basically, the, the, the game is designed to give you all these tools so that when you go and start to create your own levels, you have things to build with. There you go. So this is my, this is my moon. This is like where I can go and create my own levels, for example. When you're in create mode, your puppet becomes literally charged with an astounding creative power. Media Molecule has gone to great lengths to, uh, to incorporate some of the elements that exist on, in the web world with, in, on social networking sites like Flickr for photo sharing or Facebook for, um, for connecting with your friends, and they're trying to implement them into Little Big Planet. And where that happens is when you create levels, what happens is you, you can actually categorize them and you can share them with your friends. They also do some other things kind of behind the scenes. They track what users are doing, how many times they jump over objects, how many times they you know, find items, and they're using those to actually add additions to the game as it sort of goes on. This is a big change, uh, and it's a new thing that's actually happening in the industry where after a video game is released, later on, um, the video game developer can come in and make some changes. Little Big Planet, in a lot of ways, is sort of a throwback to some of the, the earlier days of gaming, and just in terms of its simplicity. But don't let that fool you. The levels are actually pretty complicated. I'm Jamie Burphy-Warren, arts and entertainment reporter for The Wall Street Journal.